Welcome to this session on evolution of MOOCs. You have already been using MOOCs through the platform IIT Bombay X. This brief session will tell you about how MOOCs evolved in this world. Let us look at some very early days of mass learning and teaching experiences. First and foremost, the distance learning started mainly through correspondence courses. This was around 1890 onwards. You will be aware that this activity continues through open universities even today. The emergence of digital era prompted us to build tutoring systems which could be used on computers. This activity started in 1960 onwards. When the internet emerged and more particularly when the world wide web or www or simply web as we call it became the mainstay of digital interaction, it prompted us to make all digital learning online. And that is how the beginning of MOOCs was rooted. The first MOOC emerged out of a movement called Open Educational Resource Movement. Many of you are aware of the MIT's uh, Open Courseware that is part of the Open educational resource movement and once this happened the MOOCs actually emerged out of this movement first. The term MOOC itself was coined by Dave Comier in 2008. So notice how recent the entire MOOC phenomena is. Several providers emerged which offered MOOCs courses from well-known universities. You would have heard names like Coursera, Udacity and EDX. In fact, our own IIT Bombay X platform is built on Open EDX. EDX, which is a non-profit company, announced that they will release their entire software platform in open source, which was later called Open EDX. And that is what is being used here. In terms of evolution of MOOCs, people tried to distinguish between two types of MOOCs. One called C MOOCs and the other called X MOOCs. Well, X MOOCs is nothing but a name given to the traditional approach of covering courses, whereas C MOOCs relates to a notion called connectivist approach. We will not dwell on the details of these. There are several articles in Wikipedia which describe more details on evolution of MOOCs. I would urge you to look up these articles by searching for MOOCs related activities on Wikipedia. One particular article is uploaded as a PDF file in the course content. Please note that the last pages 15 and 16 specifically contain acknowledgements and the license for use. This is something very important because intellectual property right has to be appropriately acknowledged and has to be used under a specific license and its terms. Please do read this and other articles and familiarize yourself with different facets of MOOCs as MOOCs have evolved. Thank you.